It was two years ago that I introduced Martin Lawrence HS502 in this video. And these things went like hotcakes. Like Martin is a one-man operation out there in Shanghai. And he had a heck of a time to keep up. Now two years is a fairly long time and a lot has gone on in the HS series oscilloscope world since then. The latest iteration is the HS512 Max. And I happen to have one. The HS512 Max comes into this nice hard shell protective case. There's room in here for a few accessories. And of course, here's our HS512 Max. The HS series oscilloscope now sport this new look. Here's the USB end. Here's the BNC end. And note this plus or 80 volt max. That's actually a working range. Now that 80 volt is a working input and it's divided into 12 ranges. From the 80 volts all the way down to 100 millivolt. And the name of the game is always to select an input range that will suffice for the capture that you're looking for so that you're going to get the very best resolution and you're going to get the lowest possible noise. So 80 volt allows us to work on automotive which is you know 12 to 14 volt. On heavy equipment which would be like a 24 volt system. On solar which would be 48 volt typically. And 80 volt is actually enough to be able to uh, back probe a fuel injector and uh, have the induction spike and uh, still be okay without an attenuator. 80 volts can handle that. So the engine bay, there's a lot of EMI in there, right? Uh, not all ignition systems are created equal. Some have more EMI than others, but it's a hostile environment for delicate uh, electronics such as a oscilloscope. Um, the HS512 Max uh, has had uh, the circuitry is hardened so that uh, it can better cope and uh, not disconnect in that environment. But what the HS series oscilloscopes are really known for is their low noise characteristics. And the HS512 Max does not disappoint in that regard. I've got this really neat demonstration that I've got lined up for you. Check this out. I've got the FY6900 set on a 1 kilohertz sine wave. The amplitude is set at a mere 10 millivolts. To be able to capture this properly, you need an oscilloscope where the underlying noise of the scope is not measured in millivolts, but in microvolts. And the HS512 Max has noise levels in its lowest input range that fall into the microvolt range. And here's our sine wave. 10 millivolts peak to peak. Truly amazing. One millivolt per division. You don't see that very often. Put auto measurements on. Very cool. Histogram. Also very clean, very cool. So I think that even some high-priced uh, USB uh, oscilloscopes would struggle to match that, right? That's really, really low noise performance. That's, that's, that's uh, amazing. So uh, if you own uh, a high-priced uh, oscilloscope, USB oscilloscope, um, and you want to try this out, you know, then uh, leave a comment and uh, see how you made out. And uh, then I'm going to up the ante. You see up there? A 2 millivolt sine wave. It's crazy stuff. I'll leave a link to Martin Lawrence store in the description. And at the time of this video, there are two HS series oscilloscopes uh, offered. This um, HS 502 2024 edition. Okay, so a little cosmetic change, uh, a little bit of uh, tweaking on the circuit, but it's still basically the same 16 volt input in five ranges um, that it was originally. If your work um, falls in that input range, 
you can get in the game at a very, very low cost. And, I mean, they work. I've used this for the last two years. Many other people around the globe have used this for the last two years. If you want to step up to the HS512 Max, uh, it's like a 50% increase on this. Uh, that's a lot of scope for very little money. All of them supported by the HScope app found on uh, the Google Play Store. And full disclosure, I have no financial gain in this at all. I just follow Martin's work. I feature it on this channel. I'm not alone in following his work. There's quite a group of us here on uh, the Telegram HScope Lounge. I invite you to join us. Take care, guys.